5 tips for better film composition. Remember, those are just tips and not rules. It is often advisable to follow those tips, but if you have a reason, then feel free to break them. Tip number one, framing. There is a lot to talk about this topic. First of all, the eye level. In most situations, it looks for the audience most comfortable if the eyes are at around 66% of the picture's height. Usually, this will also lead to a headroom, but if you are very close to the person's head, there won't be any headroom left, what is fine. Many people make the mistake to create too much headroom, what looks strange. Also, when the actor looks or walks to one side, there should be some lead room. Otherwise, it looks like the actor looks or walks against a wall. It is advisable to have him standing at around 33% so that 66% are free as lead room. Especially in interview situations, it is crucial to have a well-designed frame. First of all, it often looks much better when the actor is not in the center of the picture, but a bit on the side. But then, the free side of the picture often looks quite empty, and the picture seems to be out of balance. That's why you should add an object to bring it back into balance. I have a second sample. First of all, I probably framed the speaker a bit wrong. His eyes are too high and I lost my headroom, but it's still usable. You also see the lead room and in the background the shelf, which gives the picture a better balance. And by the way, the interview was very interesting. That most of it, most of the leader's life is, exists in an atmosphere of chaos. Unfortunately, we have no time for it because we come to our second tip. Many cuts with different vocal lengths. Fact is, the vocal length does not just change the distance to an object, it creates a totally different picture. With wide angle, your background will be much more open, while with a long vocal length, the background is much tighter. Faces will also look distorted when using wide angle as close-ups. With a long vocal length, you also have the advantage of having a nice blurry background. Many people make the mistake of being too shy to use close-ups, but they are extremely important to show emotions. That's why it is crucial to plan your shots exactly before. One thing that can help you is shooting some b-roll that you can add in anytime. I have an example here. After pushing the guy, I wanted them to be back where the other friends stand. But doing that in one shot would be very difficult and it would look boring anyway. So I added the scene of the laughing friends one time, a second time and then first filming the other girl and doing a pen to the guys. Fact is, shooting the same scene from different positions several times is very difficult and usually ends up with strange jumps. That's also why I did a pen to the girls in this situation that I can easily jump back to the guys afterwards again. Also in documentaries and news, it is essential to shoot b-roll, to underline what the speaker says and to entertain the audience. When using a lot of close-ups, it can easily happen that the audience loses their sense of direction, in terms of that they can't visualize where the different characters stand. This is very uncomfortable for them. One way to prevent this is to have the head or shoulder of the actor who spoke before out of focus on one side of the frame. But make sure that you don't break the 180 degree rule, which I will explain you in tip number 5. I first show you now a scene where I did it wrong. I have two actors facing each other. On the map you see it from the bird perspective. This girl is standing on the left side of the picture and looks to the right. And the other one is standing on the right side and looks to the left. It is called 180 degree rule because you can imagine the whole area as a circle and we can only use those 180 degree for our camera. But as you see, I jumped in the situation to the other side, so I crossed the 180 degree. Because of that, she is not anymore looking to the right, but slightly to the left. But this was always the direction the other girl is looking to, so it looks like she suddenly jumped to the other side. So be careful where you place your camera, that you don't confuse your audience. I also jumped in this situation even though it's not as bad because it's so little. But you can see that it looks like the guys changed the direction they walk to. They first walk to the left side of the screen and then to the right. If you have any questions then write in the comments and I will be happy to help you. Also check out my other videos to learn more about video DSLR.